Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on a Halloween themed junk journal page. So this is just one page that would go into a junk journal. The reason why I'm doing a single page is number one, I need to make one for a swap coming up in the friendly junk journal people. And number two, I've had requests to show techniques on single pages so people can have ideas and hopefully they don't have to watch, you know, an hour long, two hour long video. So here's what I've got to start with. I've collected a few things. The images are from Calico Collage and some papers from my stash. And I'm going to make a page that has pockets in it. What I have here in front of me is what was mailed to me for a pocket letter swap that I did. And it was written with black ink and it soaked all the way through but I trimmed the paper to be eight inches tall by ten and a half ten and a half inches wide we do this because we wanted consistency in the size of our pages for the junk journal group then I went in and I sprayed the page with tattered angels glimmer mist I did one that was iridescent gold and black so the black was to help hide that the text had bled through, and I think that did a pretty good job. The other thing that I've got here is some images from Calico Collage and some notebook paper. So what I want to do with this notebook paper is stamp on it, and then I'm going to adhere it to the page. I've got a couple of stamps that I've had in my stash for a while. Some of them were given to me, some of them I bought years ago. It's just kind of fun stuff. So I've got this one that has this little dancing skeleton, and I thought it was kind of cute. So I'm going to use my Brutus Monroe Detail Ink, because it's a permanent ink. Once it's dry, I'm going to stamp him right here in the corner, like so. And then to help kind of give this a distressed look, I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Black Soot distressing ink and my distressing tool and just go around the edge just to kind of give this a little bit of color just kind of making it not pristine so I'm going to take this and I'm going to adhere it over here on the left side of my page with some glue stick so it will stay in place and then I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew around it just so that it gives it another element of texture you don't have to do that if you're trying to kind of copy me in a sense I'm just doing it because I like to sew and it is where I started my journey in crafting and I'm using the glue stick just so that the paper won't shift while I'm sewing it in place I'm also going to attach this piece here with some washi tape, but I'm going to come back and do that after I sew. As you can see, I've sewn around the perimeter of this. And then I have this piece from Calico Collage. I had a two page spread, but I ended up cutting one of them off. And I left a little bit of this strip so that I could attach washi tape to it. What I'm gonna do is line this up on my page and adhere it down. Before I do that, I'm gonna go right around the edge where it's white and cover up that white core of the paper and then I'll do this white strip just a little bit. So now I'm just going to line this up over here on the left just a little bit, but away from the actual center of the page so that I can put down some washi tape. When I 
do a page like this so it can flip out, I go right to the edge and not past it so that this will be able to flip over. I like doing this technique because it's a great way to add another element to the page and it's not too bulky when you do it this way. And then I'm going to flip this back on the other side and I'm going to add some washi tape on the other side. So now you have a writing space here and a writing space over here on this journal page. On this side I've got some layers of paper here that were leftover bits so I'm going to add these to this side making a tuck spot in a kind of pocket if you will. So I'm just going to line these up here. I'm going to here down this top piece I've already gone around it once with my distressing ink. I'm just touching it up a little bit. And I'm going to glue at the top and the bottom so this can become a secondary tuck spot. I'm going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue to get it down. And then I'm going to glue around the outside edge on three sides so this becomes a pocket. We'll set this aside to dry for a little bit. I've got a little envelope that I die cut onto some book page. I also sprayed it with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist so it is dry now. I'm going to quickly go around the edge with my black soot to kind of finish off this envelope. And then I'm going to adhere down the flaps. I'm going to use some white glue again. I've got these little feet that were stickers left over from when I made a junk journal. And I thought they would look kind of cute stuck on this envelope. And I'm not going to put a closure on this one. I think I'll just leave it open so it can be used as it is. Now I have here, this is junk to most people, this was a little card that had uh, information about a long comb package that I got in 2015 around Christmas. So I've had it for two years and it's a nice little glossy heavy card stock with images on it but it doesn't really go with what I'm doing but the size works. So I cut some black paper. Some of it's card stock. Some of it is copy weight if you will and I thought it'd be kind of cute to add some of these new calico collage images and then I've got a couple of cuts that I made on my Cricut. So I'm going to go around the edge of this image with the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. So that kind of covers up that white core. I'm going to do that on each page that one of these images. And then I will adhere this down to the black cardstock. And I'll probably zigzag stitch around it. So I'm going to use my glue stick just to help stick it down so it doesn't move on me before I get it sewn. I'm going to choose to go up in this corner. And I have a scrap of ribbon. I think I'm going to sew it down this side. Went ahead and zigzagged around. And I'm just going to trim off this piece. I'll save it for something else. I've been in swaps over the years and I've received little pieces of ribbon and I've always like, what am I going to do with these? So now that I'm making all these junk journals, it's really come in handy. 
And I think what I want to do is I want to adhere this little black cat at the bottom, but I think I want to put, I've got some yellow washi tape that has the same polka dots as the orange ribbon, and that will help tie in the ribbon and color on here. I'm going to glue down this little black cat with some glue stick because I can put it on all of the pieces and it won't pop up on me. I like to do it over a scrap of paper and that way I don't have to worry about cleaning up where the glue stick landed. So we'll put this right here. Now I want to adhere this to my foundation and I'm going to do it in such a way that this could be a pocket. So I'm going to go around three sides, the sides and the bottom with my Aline's Tacky Glue. And I may not put anything in the pocket, but it will be there in case someone wants to use it themselves on this swap. So I've got a couple more of these Calico Collage images, and I'm just going to adhere these down. I don't think I'll sew around these, and I'll probably not make a pocket on the inside with this image. I've got a little crow that I cut with my Cricut. I want to adhere down on here. I think I want it to go that way. I've got a book page here that I tore, gluing two together, stamped the little haunted house, and used the Tim Holtz Distress Ink around the edges. And I'm going to adhere this down on the corner here so it becomes a tuck spot. Then I have an envelope here. This was something that was given to me. I'm going to go around the edge of it, giving it some distressed look. I've got a little stamp of a ghost that I thought would look kind of cute. I'm going to stamp this little guy up here in the corner. Isn't that cute? So this will go right here, and we'll just keep on decorating the pages. Here I've got a notepad that I picked up at... I believe it was a Dollar Tree, and it's too long to use by itself, so I ended up cutting it so that it will fit inside this journal booklet that I'm making. I have some stickers left over from making my junk journal. This says Happy Halloween, so I thought, well, that will look kind of cute up here at the top of this page. Gives a little decoration to it. I have this web that I cut on my Cricut that I thought would look interesting in here. So I'm going to adhere it to this page as it is and then maybe, actually I want to do something else. I want to spray it with some Tattered Angels before I put it in there. I have one called Dazzling Diamonds, and it has a little bit of a gold, but I thought it would look kind of neat, antique-y. I'm going to use my little piece of paper here and put some glue stick on the web so it'll stick down. I have another little sticker here that I think would be kind of cute. It's Beware. I'm going to put that here in the corner. And then I have some more little gems that are bats. So I'm going to put some of those over the spider web because I couldn't find my spiders I was looking for. Although I'm going to look in one more spot. Well, I looked in my other spot and I didn't see any. So we're going to use these little bats on this page, if I can get it off the, got another one of these little stickers, and I think that'll be cute to put right here on the bottom. So now, using 
what was a makeup, I've got a second one, a makeup little guide, if you will. I cut papers to fit and made a new little booklet out of what would be potentially trashed to anybody else because I don't know very many people that would have kept this. <laughs> but I did and I'm using it. I have some junior legal pad note paper that I have trimmed just a little bit. It's right about five by seven. And I've got a scrap piece that was left over from the other portion of the page that I thought would look kind of cute across here. And I've got, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's do Got a little skull and crossbone. I'm going to stamp that in the corner. So that looks kind of cute. And then I'm going to use a little bit of some ribbon that was a leftover piece and sew this all together as one piece. And what I'll do sometimes to help keep it together is I'll take some glue stick and just put a little bit on the back side of my ribbon. And then I will pop it where I want it to be. So in this case, in the center of this piece. And then that way when I go to sew this down, I don't have to fight holding it in place until I've got the stitches in. I have a really old sewing machine that I use in my paper crafts. And sometimes if you don't hold your mouth right, it gets mad at you. So I had to sew this a couple of times because my thread was all messed up. But there's a notepad that'll go into my journal page. And now I've got some more components here. This is another scrap of paper. I probably showed this in other videos several times now. I keep all my little scraps by color in little pockets so that when I need a scrap for a project I just grab it and go and I think what I want to do is adhere this down and I'm going to sew it into place. Why not? Why not tempt fate? So I've trimmed the threads and now this is going to be a belly band if you will and I've got another one of these notepads that I've set up. I cut this piece and left the top part and just folded it over so that will hold in place and then I'll put the ribbon down. Again I'll use my glue stick to hold the ribbon in place until I've got that sewn. I've got a little card here of yellow or orange, I guess it's orange, cardstock that was a scrap left over and I'm just going to go around the edge with my detail excuse me the Brutus which one have I got the distress ink sometimes I forget which one I'm playing with at the moment and then I have my detail ink and I've got the stamps under my spell it's a cheap stamp so when you stamp it if you rock it in the least bit you get a border if you will and I'm going to do this on purpose. I'm going to stamp it and kind of rock it around so I get a little bit of marking around it and this will then be a journal card that will fit right in here. And then this is going to go on this side but I need to adhere the two pages together. So what I'm going to do is go around the top just around the top and leave the ends open. Now I have a little butterfly clip that has a spider web on it and I thought it would be kind of cute to put this on the edge here to hold this little notepad into place. And then I have this card that I made that went here I've got this little notepad that I made for the journal, so it can go in here. 
it'll go in between the two pages. So we'll pretend that's where that's going to go. And then this one is going to go between the two pages on this side, if I can find the opening. There we go. It'll go here. But I need for the glue to dry. And in fact, what I might do... So I'm gonna go I'm gonna stitch over the top and bottom because it won't hurt it to stitch this into place I have one of these uh, what is it this is a Tim Holtz little spider that was from last year or maybe even the year before that and one of these garment tags and I'm just gonna poke it through if I can get the hole so I had some scraps of calico collage from the All Hallows Eve digital kit, and I'm going to put this in here. I've got an old envelope that I made and sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and that goes right here. This is a band that I showed you that I made out of scrap paper today. Right inside this front pocket is a notepad to journal upon. So even though this page is bulky and you can't really journal on top of it, you'll be able to pull out the journaling card and pop it back inside to have journaling. I like a smooth surface when I journal. So that, I feel, is a good thing to have. And then this is another journaling card, but you could put a photograph behind that. You could also tuck other things onto the other two layers here. This little funky butterfly holds another notepad, and you could put paper behind here or add photos. And then this is just clipped. It's like a hair clip. It's just clipped on the side. And then this pocket, these are the new calico, oops, I got it attached here. Calico collage images from a new kits of four images per page. I'll have the links, of course, in the description box below. And if you haven't already, joined the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group because we do swaps, and that's what this is for. So I've used her images. There were four. There's one. There's two. Made a little envelope to go here to put things in. You can write notes on it more of the image and more of there and this is a pocket on the front part so this will go in here as well and then on the back side we have another little note area with another image from the calico collage all hallows eve so i hope you enjoyed seeing a different way of making a junk journal page that you can then add to your junk journals. You don't have to make every page this elaborate. The filler pages may be copy paper, they could be notebook paper, they could be graph paper, so that you'll have spaces to write. And then this would be your heavily embellished pocket and pretty designs that you have on here. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below in the comment boxes. Come to Facebook to the group and ask in that group. Like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends so others will find me and see great things that I'm sharing. And if you are looking for a technique or an idea of how to do something, message me below. And if I don't already have a video, I will make one. Again, Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, Tumblr. I'm sure there's another one that I'm forgetting. Uh, come follow me if you have questions, want to see more of what I'm doing. Again, thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. And, of course, this is a Halloween, so happy Halloween, even though we're really early. Bye.